Hey everybody, today we are reviewing a Velocity System 762 by 39 placard in multicam. And this is a nice piece of kit. So this placard is your typical placard that you would expect to uh, in design. You have two Fastex buckles here to uh, mate it or marry it to whatever plate carrier you desire that has the ability to receive uh, mail-in Fastex. On the back, you have a generous hook field, uh, again, to mate to the loop field of any plate carrier that has uh, the loop field as such. And you also have three, count them three, uno, dos, tres, three small little GP pouches on the face of the magazine pouches of this placard to give you the ability to carry a small amount of mission essential equipment. So on the middle GP pouch, you have a small loop field in multicam, so it all matches, very aesthetically pleasing, and you can put your IFF on there. Uh, not multicam, it's an AOR2, not as aesthetically pleasing, but a vibe nonetheless. And you can see here, uh, it is uh, Velocity Systems. And inside here, you have a tag that shows it is... Back out of the way. Mayflower by Velocity Systems. Uh, if you're not familiar with Mayflower, uh, they actually made some of the coolest plate carriers of the 2000s. Uh, the Mayflower Gen 4 is very iconic. And this placard is pretty much the center of a Mayflower Gen 4. Made into a placard. But for 7.63 by 39. So, the construction. Construction is really nice. Uh, stitching on all the velocity systems and Mayflower stuff, or Mayflower velocity systems, however you want to say it, is always really good, always has been really good. I'm going to zoom you guys out just a hair. Um, it's, it's always been top-notch. And this is uh, no exception. And what I like so far, so I'm talking about the GPs, is the bottom of each one of these little GP pouches, you've got a nice little pull. It's uh, made of quarter-inch um, webbing, and it's a nice bar tack to terminate, and it's folded over double, one, one and a half times, and a nice little pull for each one of these pouches, so you can get a nice yank on your pouch. Wasn't necessary, but still a nice touch. You have a uh, color-matched loop on the face of each pouch. Drives the cost up a little bit, but hey, whatever. It, it's aesthetically pleasing. Stitching of the pouch to the face of the mag pouch area is really nice. It's uh, bar tacked where it needs to be, and then sewn down uh, standard like double stitch and regular stitching as needed. The bottom of each one of the little GPs has a grommet. One, two, three. Uh, I did notice there is no grommeting on the bottom of the magazine pouches, so probably unnecessary, but it's not. So probably actually good too. It keeps any uh, dirt or debris coming from with under to uh, get inside the area where the ammunition would be. The area where the magazine pouches are sewn to the actual body of the placard is uh, really aggressively stitched on here on the sides as you can see there and there and it's mirrored on each end here and here and that's really good the mag pouches themselves are basically a little separate mag pouches within themselves sewn into uh, the placard itself so in a lot of placardy type insert type things you'll just have a thin divider here and here and then just makes two large envelopes or uh, three large envelopes uh, they did a little different it's very much a uh, almost like a magazine pouch taco type pouch that's been sewn inside of an envelope and i think that adds to a integrity and a uh, durability to the pouch that you don't the placard pouches that you don't normally see uh, the poles themselves are really nice uh, they're quarter inch webbing with this like um, leathery rubbery hapalon type material sewn over top so it gives you really good purchase uh, with with or without gloves uh, with wet hands or not and it's they're really nice pulls i like these uh, that's a, been a mainstay of mayflower stuff and velocity stuff for a while and it's something i've always liked about their uh, placards and their chest rigs moving on the fitment so i have three 762 by 39 or two 39 mags and then a uh, 74 mag Goes in really nice. 
In the middle, we've got the Arcturus 39P mag. I'm off camera, sorry. It goes in really nice. And then we've got your standard, uh, I don't fucking know, Tokyo Maru, your Classic Army, uh, metal P, uh, fucking steel mid cap. All going really well, really nicely. So the placard does as advertised. Draw is nice and smooth. So I was curious and I wanted to know if 51 mags would fit. And they do. They're a little deep. But scar heavy mags fit. They go down pretty far. But it's not a game changer or deal breaker. But it's pretty cool. They do fit. So you can double duty this placard if you were so inclined. As far as these little pouches here, you have the ability. They're not huge. Um, but they're not small. You can easily run. Uh, these are two Airsoft Glock 17 magazines. Uh, you can put those right there. They run fine. You could even run them uh, independently. One in each. And they're good. They're not going to flop out on you. They're good. Uh, you could run a Gerber in a pouch, a ma extra pistol mag, uh, whatever you really you need. But there, this kind of gives you a take, an idea of the sizing. So, a couple pistol mags, whatever. Uh, this middle pouch, not a lot of stuff. Uh, these are a small little pair of Tasco Field Binos. Uh, I got like at a Walmart a while back. These are like 12 by 25s. Uh, but they're perfect for this little middle pouch. But, like I said, mostly for Mission Essential gear. Uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. And uh, last but not least, I'm going to bring... Uh, my wasp play carrier up and show you uh, the thing on a play carrier. All right, so we got the Warrior Assault Systems uh, recon right here, and this Felsis was was made for this thing. It seems like you just kind of. Clip, clip and there you go bam it looks like it was made for this play carrier it's gorgeous down to the coyote brown buckle and coyote brown buckles wonderfully mated it just looks like it was designed to fit on this carrier and i'm super stoked uh to have it on here I hope this was a great video for you guys to watch. If you were curious about a Velocity Systems placard, especially the 762 by 39 you now know kind of what you're getting into and what you're looking at. Highly recommend it. Uh, definitely worth the money. Uh, they are not cheap, but they're not expensive. And if you're looking for something that is really nicely purpose-built for 762 by 39 or uh, 74 max, what, like 545 by 45 or some shit? I don't fucking know. I forget the the designation for these things um it's similar to 556 five, it's 545 five by something but anyway ak max if you're looking for ak's 74 or 47 mags so the purpose built for them uh this is your guy it'll work it's a placard and it's wonderful and it's beautiful and it'll do what it's got to do and it'll work on lots of things so thanks for watching as always get out there build some cool kits buy cool shit and Play some Airsoft, because Airsoft is fucking fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.